All right, bro. So here's how you do this vent valve. You get a screwdriver, and you just want to bend this little middle thing up a little bit, and now it'll slide right off. Disconnect the connector. Now, this is just kind of some janky ass little hose here. So I'm just gonna cut it with some dikes, like this. Scissors would probably work okay too. Probably be kind of tough to get through. But you want it to have kind of a clean cut because we're gonna be putting a hose over this, like that. So, this little chingadera right here is the hose that attaches to it. And the way we get this off is this little button right here. Let me see if I can focus a little better. This is a button, this little mismatched spot right here. So you just push this way, push it towards the canister, and then put some pressure on that button. And it'll just come off just like that. And this is what you want to see once you got it all off. Come on, focus. It's got that hose assembly. And now we'll go to the bench. Now this hose here, we have to reuse. The new one does not come with this hose, but it's kind of like melted or crimped it on there. So I just took my hacksaw here and just sawed it right off. But you want to have a nice clean area here too, because we're going to be putting a hose on there to mate it up to the new valve. This, trash. So here's what your new sheet's going to look like. Here's the new valve. Notice it does not have a hose attached to it. There's the part number, if you're going to get it from O'Reilly's. I think they keep it in stock, at least they did at our store. And then here's this little filter chingadera. Now this thing, that hose that goes all the way up to the transmission, that's where this goes. But this is only for if the system has not already been modified to have that feature. And this truck does, and so does yours. So, we don't need it. Now, we need to attach this hose back onto here. And we're going to do that using a piece of heater hose. Actually, yeah. yeah, so this goes like that. This chingadera is gonna go like that over to your canister, and then we'll have to hook the other one up once we get over there. So you're gonna need some half inch hose. Half inch heater hose, and you can get it in bulk at the auto parts store. It's cheap as dirt. You'll probably need about six inches of it. They'll probably sell you a foot. And you just wanna cut a little section like this. And we're going to put this in one side, and we're going to put this in the other. It might be kind of a snug fit, so we'll use some spit or something to slide it on in there. And, uh, and that son bitch ain't going to leak. But just in case, I'm going to get a couple of these hose clamps. Because it needs to be sealed, airtight. Otherwise, that damn check engine light's going to come back on. So we'll add those just for good measure. And that's what it's going to look like when you're done. We're hooked up. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty tight fit to get that half inch hose around those parts. But uh, that's, that's how GM says to do it. This is all straight out of GM service manual. Now we're gonna repeat to connect this top port to that other janky little accordion hose. And uh, it does not have to be an airtight seal. So as long as we can get it to slide on there, we're gonna be golden. Now one thing that I do to make that hose fit a little better over that big ass thing is I get some Nino's pliers and stick them in there and just, uh, just pull it open as hard as I can and it'll kind of give it just a little bit of stretch that it takes to make that happen. I'll also put some like spray lube in there, but soapy water will work just as good. Just to make sure everything goes back into place right, I want to kind of bend this little guy back down a little bit. Kind of a bitch. Just like that. So that it's lower than the other two. And then uh, our valve. Pop this guy back on. Alright, tilt snaps. And then slide the valve back on. Just like that. Till it snaps. Now I'm gonna work this hose into there, which is a bitch, but we'll get it there eventually. And then we're done. So get you a few inches of this uh, three quarter hose. It's a little larger than the half inch, and I'll show you why. Well, what I did was I took that larger heater hose 
and I slid it over the smaller one there, and then it also slides over this accordion hose. Come on, focus, bitch. And that's way easier. Again, this doesn't have to be clamped or sealed, because it doesn't have to be airtight. It just goes up to a filter to kind of try to keep the air clean. But this side, over here, does need to be clamped and sealed. And once you're done with that, plug her in, disconnect the battery or have the coats cleared, and you fixed it.